So in this question, we have a block traveling on a surface, horizontal surface, and the direction of velocity is to the right. Um, the frictional forces are not considered to be negligible, so they matter. And we can see that in the diagram, there is a force of friction labeled. Which of the quantities should a student measure to verify the direction of the frictional force is in the same direction as the change in momentum of the block? Same direction as the change in block. We need to select two answers. Now in the AP, there is very uh, often there are several questions that ask you to select two answers. And to be correct for that question, you need to have select both of the correct answers, not just one. Uh, so justify your selections. <clears throat> so in this case, before we get distracted by the answers, let's do some thought about this. We've got, we're clearly identifying the, uh, our two driving principles are energy conservation and momentum conservation. Now the question's clearly telling us this is about momentum. So we know the initial momentum equals the final momentum, and if not, there is a change in momentum which is due to an impulse, which is the average force times the average net force times the time, and that is equal to the change in momentum, which is the mass times the change in velocity. So when we look at um, our the things we could possibly measure, we don't measure impulse direct, direct, directly. We don't measure change in momentum directly. And our question is about what the frictional force doing is to the mass. Now what we would expect to happen is for this to slow over time. And so that is something we could detect. So if we pull those two down, F net delta T is M delta V. And then the, the net force in this case, the force causing this is the force of friction. And so that is going to be M delta V over delta T. So what we want to know is what quantities should we measure? To show that the direction of the force, we're interested about the direction, not the magnitude. Well, mass doesn't have direction, time doesn't have direction, so this is going to be about the velocity. Delta V is V minus V0. So everything we'll find out about the direction is about V and V0. So let's see if we can find it, we'll read these choices over and see if there's something about the velocities. So we've got coefficient of friction, that does not look like the choice. It's not mentioning velocity. The mass of the block, well, mass of the block might be important, but that's not the only thing we need. The initial velocity is proportional to the final momentum of the block. Well, the initial, the initial velocity we definitely need, and the final velocity, because the initial momentum of the block is proportional to the final momentum of the block. And so it's only in choices C and D that we're getting some mention of the velocity, and we're looking for two choices, and that is why C and D are the correct choices.